what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to do a top four baits for january bass fishing now january can be a really tough month things are getting as cold as they're going to get your water temps are way down depending on what part of the country you're living in the weather is as cold as it's going to get the water normally is the clearest it's going to get year round so january can be a tough month for fishing but i promise you can still catch fish and i've narrowed it down to my top four of course if there's a, there's other baits that you can throw but these are my top four go-to baits in the month of january so let's get to it so once we get into the end of december and going into january i really focus on three things when locating these fish one is hard bottom which that could be gravel pea gravel rocks what have you then i look for easy deep water access usually main lake you could have a point that runs out there and the points in 12 foot and then all of a sudden it drops off into 30 40 foot it's just an easy transition for those fish to move up and down on that point to feed and then they can go back to their deep water and the third thing is bait and what i mean by bait is whatever your forage is in your home lake that's what i'm looking for whether that be shad gizzard shad thread fin and even crawfish so with that being said my number one bait is going to be a jig now there's two jigs that i'm talking about one is a football jig and the other is a flipping or pitching jig is what what i usually call it and that's just a jig that's got an arky head on it and i'll get into that here in just a minute the football jig is something that you're going to throw out there and just drag on bottom over rock piles those long points uh ledges in in a creek channel uh bend something like that and the one i like to throw this time of year is the finesse football it's still a heavy heavy jig half ounce or five eighths but it's got a light wire hook so i can get away with throwing 12 pound line 15 pound line and this is really key for me because in, in the winter time you don't have clear water like i mentioned earlier and those fish are not gonna fight near as hard as they would have in May or June. So the finesse football is key for me. And trailer wise on this, I've got three, three trailers that I like to throw on the finesse football. And it all depends on how active those fish are. You, you don't want a trailer this time of year that's gonna be kicking all over the place. But, the net bait paca slim comes with those two little feet like this and when you're dragging this jig along and you hit a rock and you kind of pop it free these these feet will have just just enough action to just give it just a little something in that cold water now if they're being really really lethargic i'll go to something with dead action and that's something like a beaver style bait that's not going to have any kind of action whatsoever but it's going to have the presentation that you want to mimic your crawfish or anything like that so that's also another good option you just have to play around with with either or on a given day to see what they're wanting now the pitching jig that i talked about with that arky style head this head is meant for just an all-purpose jig it's it's a good dock jig it's an okay grass jig it's a good uh lay down flipping wood jig it's just a it's a do everything jig and in the winter time with this jig i'm going to pick this guy up when i'm going to your river systems that are that have current and have you know way up the river you might have a bunch of lay downs and uh main main river eddies and stuff like that that i'm going to be just pitching short short little pitches i'm going to use this jig now the 
trailer on this guy, I'm going dead action all the way. And that's either a beaver style bait or a or a bigger like the big salty chunk, just a, a dead action do nothing chunk. All I'm looking for in this bait is profile. And this one's the same weight as the football jig, but I've got a stouter hook in, in this one. Because like I said, this is something I'm going to be throwing 17, 20 pound line. And I'm flipping into lay downs. I'm flipping around docks, rocks, all of that shallow, shallow fishing with this jig. So my number two bait is going to be a swim bait. Just a single uh, paddle tail swim bait. And I like to, to downsize this time of year. I feel like I get more bites because of that clear water. And most of the time those fish are chasing smaller bait fish, unless you're in a fisher that you've got a lot of thread fin or something like that. But anything from that three inch up to like a 4.75 swim bait, I really like throwing this time of year. Most of the time I'm throwing it on a 3 8 ounce uh, jig head with a little bit lighter hook so that I can throw 10 or 12 pound line. And this is a bait that just like the jig, you're going to throw it out there on your hard bottom, your rock piles and points and ledges. You're going to let it hit bottom and you're just going to creep this bait. Constantly ticking bottom the whole time. I mean, just creeping it along. But that can be a really, really good killer bait in January. My number three, and these are in no particular order, but my number three bait is for those days, and we've all been there, that they just won't bite anything. They're all lethargic. They don't want to chase. They don't want to do anything. I pick up the Ned Rig. And this is just one of those baits that you've, you got to suck it up and throw it. It just is what it is. Um, I'll put either the Z-Man TRD on it or the new Yamamoto uh, Ned Floater and just a like an eighth ounce head because this is something that's just going to be on the bottom the whole time. And I'm just going to work it as slow as I possibly can over that hard bottom. But when those fish don't want to chase down a whole lot and you feel like they're getting way too good of a look at, say, a, a full-size jig, try downsizing to a Ned rig on six-pound fluorocarbon and just drag bottom as slow as you can. It's really methodical. It's really slow. But those fish still will bite it. Now, the last bait I have is a bait that seems to work better in the southern region and when it gets really cold there is still a big population of fish that stay up there shallow on your um, transition banks that go from like rock to pea gravel or clay to rock or stuff like that most of your shad and the cooler water will end up moving out to deep water, but the crawfish are still up there shallow. So those bass know that, and they will still push up their shallow. And the other thing to look at is when you get a, a warming trend or like a, a bright sunny day in the month of January, those fish will go dirt shallow. And when those fish do that, I'll pick up a shad wrap, either the number seven or if they're up there dirt shallow, I'll throw the number five. And this is a this is a bait that's paper thin. It feels like you're throwing a sheet of paper out there, but you put it put it on a seven foot medium light spinning reel and six or eight pound straight fluorocarbon and just throw this guy out there and slow wind them back. It's got a really, really tight action to them. And I feel like that's key in the winter time to not have a big aggressive action in the water. So the shad wrap is a killer for me. And there's no no secret that this is one of my favorite colors is crawdad. And it 
makes no sense that this is a bait fish profile crankbait, but it's in a crawfish color. Don't know why that they eat it, but they do. Just like the demon color. They will chomp this bait in the middle of January. So guys, there's my top four picks for the month of January. Just like every video, I'm going to link everything I've talked about today. Exact baits, sizes, the colors, the trailers that I talked about. I'm going to have all of that linked below. Even, even the swim bait head that I use. I'm going to have all that in the description. So go check that out. See which baits I was talking about. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.